The Water Horse, Fjordbjorn. <laughs> Fjordbjorn. Welcome to another Webtoon Top 10s. This week, we're counting down the top 10 WTF moments that have gone down in our series. So if you aren't up to date with these series, this is your spoiler warning. Let's get started. Blades of Furry, Episode 3, Vampire Radu. Emil is going up against Radu in a head-to-head -head match of battle skating, a combination of ice skating and martial arts. In the process of doing a trick, Emil accidentally cuts his hand on the blade of his skates, which unleashes something primal within Radu. It's here that we see Radu's fierce reaction to the sight and smell of blood, which reveals that he's actually a vampire. My Giant Nerd Boyfriend, Episode 13, Obsession. This short comic chronicles the daily life of series creator, Fishball, and her tall, geeky boyfriend. In this installment, Fishball gets caught by her boyfriend watching pimple-popping videos. Ugh! The biggest WTF is that he joins in and watches along with her. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Unlucky is as lucky does. Episode 13, The Water Horse, Fjordblurred. Hefni, whose hair suspiciously looks like a four-leaf clover, is appointed as the princess's bodyguard because of his immense luck. While on a journey to the kingdom of Dakki King, Hepni and the princess require a horse to help them traverse the land. What they get instead is a beautiful, yet frightening water horse with questionable motives. The water horse Fjörbjörn even goes through a magical dream horse transformation to stretch out long enough to accommodate three riders. Is this horse a friend or a foe? Either way, that triple wide stretch has us thinking WTF. Down to Earth, Episode 7, The Console. If a green haired alien hottie falling from the sky into your love life wasn't enough of a shock, how about if she dunked your beloved gaming console into the sink when you weren't home? Yeah, WTF. Down to Earth is a series that explores the complexities of living with an alien roommate who you may or may not be catching feelings for. Kate and Zeta clearly have a lot to learn about boundaries if they're going to make their living arrangements work. Meow Man, Episode 1, Meow Man. Imagine you're Bonnie. You take a stray cat home one night, and the next morning you find a weirdly muscular hybrid cat man in your bed. Yep. Afterwards, he even offers to grant you three wishes. So you wish for a boyfriend, and this handsome white-haired cat man is all yours now. What could possibly go wrong? Oh. Uh, Killstagram, episode 43, a season finale. Killstagram is not for the faint of heart, so trigger warning ahead for disturbing content. If you'd like to skip this part, go ahead and proceed here on the timestamp. Remy Doe, an attractive and successful social media influencer, has everything she wants in life, and a little more. By a little more, I mean a serial killer stalker, Doha. Uh, really? This entire chapter is a huge WTF moment. When Doha, Remy's captor, is shot by the police, Remy mourns Doha's death. Footage of her sympathizing and mourning his death is leaked publicly. This causes Remy's followers to turn on her, leaving horrible comments and she ends up cutting her wrists. It's never revealed whether Remy survives her suicide attempt. Either way, this entire ending is just one huge WTF. Castle Swimmer, Episode 34, The True Prophecy. All of Siren's life, he's been wrestling with his destiny as the prince of the Shark Kingdom to kill a legendary merman called the Beacon. Things get even more complicated when the two start developing feelings for each other. Even with the lives of his entire family at stake, Siren is ultimately unwilling to take a life for the sake of prophecy. He instead decides to help the Beacon escape. In a wild twist of fate, he discovers the true prophecy requires the Beacon to kill the Shark Prince, not the other way around. Wait, WTF? How are they supposed to deal with that term of events? The First Night with the Duke, Episode 1, The Accident. Ripley wakes up to a whole new world in room that she's completely unfamiliar with. However, she soon finds out she's been transferred to her favorite fantasy novel, The Flower of Erin Nell. She is asked to attend a ball being thrown by the novel's main character, Etoile. Ripley arrives and has the time of her life, 
Maybe a little too much fun. A bomb shots anybody? She wakes up in an unfamiliar bed. The bed of the Duke, who is supposed to marry a twall in the original story. Oops. Unholy Blood, Episode 6, The Father. High End Park is just a regular girl. <laughs> just kidding. She's a pure-blooded vampire that lives at the church under the care of a priest. He's no ordinary priest, though. The first time we meet Father Michael, he shows up with a cigarette in his mouth, a massive scar across his face, holding a 4x4 with nails protruding from it. WTF. Not really what we were expecting from a priest, but we'll sure as heck be on time for Mass, Father, uh, sir. Not So Shoujo Love Story Episode 1, Handsome. Not So Shoujo Love Story is a romance series about Rei, who's obsessed with shoujo manga, to the point where she sees cliches everywhere in the world around her. Being the main character, of course, Rei's looking forward to meeting her Prince Charming, and we are too, until we finally see him. Oh yes, the epitome of beauty himself, Handsome. The visual gag of Handsome's overly elongated and pointed chins got us going, what the f***? Seriously? Look at it! And that's what we thought were the top 10 most WTF moments on Webtoon. Do you agree with our top 10? What's the most WTF moment that you've read on Webtoon yourself? Do you like pimple popping videos or not? Admit it. It's okay. What do you want to see next in our top 10 series? Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.